the midst of death, life persists. In the midst of untruth, truth persists. In the midst of darkness, light persists. The most important part of the Indian freedom fight was the Quit India movement. No matter how hard it was for our country to achieve independence, the Crips Embassy, a failed attempt by the British government in late March 1942 to gain the support of Indians for their efforts in World War II, was of no use. Quit India resolution was passed on August 8, 1942 by the Indian National Congress. The Congress handed over the leadership of the movement entirely in the hands of Gandhi. Gandhi regarded the movement as the last struggle for Indian independence. In his speech before the All India Committee, he declared it was going to be the last struggle of his life to win the freedom for India. The British government became aware of the movement and prepared itself in advance. All the members of the Congress, including Gandhi, were arrested before they work. Other leaders were also arrested, and people were left leaderless. The first phase started from the day of arrest of Gandhi. The news of Quit India movement and Gandhi's arrest took the people unaware, but the reaction was spontaneous. The second phase began from the middle of August when the focus shifted from the center to the outskirts, where the mob began to attack the court and government buildings. Where the mob tried to set up parallel governments, the large suppressions executed by the government helped the people to organize the third phase of the movement, which entered its longest.